They're excited. They know exactly what time and what day um, Dream Big is coming. They never miss a day. You can see it in their faces. As soon as you know Tuesday hits, they're they're ready to go. All you have to do is repeat after me. All I have to do is repeat after me. A shake, shake, cool let. A shake, shake, cool let. A shake, go visa. A shake. In a lot of schools these days, the arts tend to be the first things that get cut. And it's so sad for us to see that because arts really allow kids to explore information and learning in new ways that they can't do in a standard classroom. What we're doing today is we are going to share with each other some scenes that we've been working on to teach each other more about the books we've been reading. Really, we're just like acting out like art books we read Diamond Daniel and uh, Because of Win Dixie. So what we're doing is like we're making these like talk shows about them, The Greatest Wishes. But these are like all based on the books, so it's like reading but acting at the same time. The funnest part of the her class is like when we have vid visitors other than her and having to put on plays and themes and music and dances and stuff. And you, were you a part of this? No. This no. <laughs> Dream Big has been amazing. We've had meetings as a team. That's kind of where we sort of compared our ideas and sort of figured out kind of like the groundwork for what was to come. It's been really nice to talk with them about their curriculum and figure out how we can put our um, drama and theater spin on uh, learning more about the books that they've been engaging with. They've been so instrumental in the entire process, bringing great ideas to the kids, making them really interactive and exciting. And they make it quite simple for us to just jump in and get involved. Well, a lot of our, of our students are now feeling more empowered, knowing who they are in their own self-identity. They're very uh, excited knowing that it's going to be a Tuesday and Amelia and Leslie are going to be coming in and actually working with them and they're able to get out of their seats and move around. So them being able to freely express how they feel and at the same time learn uh, their reading skills, it's very empowering to them. She's teaching us how to like perform in front of the audience without even laughing because then, but we, we could laugh if it's a funny joke. like. She's teaching us like, how could we be good in the stage? I would say that one of my favorite parts is the fact that the kids get to really act and become some of these amazing characters that we've been reading about that really kind of brings all of the other things that we've been doing and reading and writing together. So that makes me really excited for them. It's great to see you. I like these dogs. Uh oh, they look like they're sneaking up on me. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to mention about Dream Big and, and Miss Amelia, or are you good? Yes, that Dream Bigs is always trying to do their best, and I really appreciate that.